We bring greetings of peace, love, and blessings unto each of you. This is the Queen Mother. As I come to you today with the weekly address, there is a few things that I would like to discuss, and I would like to bring it to the forefront. A few of you have contacted me with uh, concerns that you have, even though I addressed it a few times before, and even uh, last week uh, I spoke of it in my uh, weekly address last Monday. But I would like to bring it up again because it is very important. It is a very uh, urgent, important message. Uh, that we hope each person can hear and understand what uh, is being said here. There is a lot of websites that are coming up. There is a lot of different projects, a lot of different programs that are taking shape. And uh, there's a lot of uh, even pages that are coming up on Facebook. And I would like to say this because it's so very important. The last thing that we need, the last thing that Africa needs, is for someone to say that they have a project or a program to help Africa, to help their children, their men or their women. The last thing we need is someone to say that they have programs to help them, but they are not helping them. Money and support is only being told that it would be sin, but it is not happening. We see a lot of new programs that is coming up all over the Facebook, by the way of the internet, and some of the websites. And they are saying, and they are parading our beautiful children, our beautiful women around on that Facebook page, or on their particular website. And they are parading them around, saying that we are have an organization or a program that is going to help these children, or that is going to help these women. But deep down inside, they are not sending money, they are not sending supplies or nothing to Africa. And sadly to say, many of these programs don't even have the resources to do so. So with that being said, the last thing Africa needs is someone with greed. Africa has suffered from having greedy leaders. Greedy peoples that have made promises that they have not kept. Africa has been hurt by this kind of greed. And we don't need it again. So I ask each of you, if you put up a Facebook page and you say you are there to help the children and the peoples of Africa, that's exactly what you should be doing. Not parading those beautiful children around, our beautiful men and women around on Facebook or on the internet period and just coming up with these programs but really not helping. We don't need that and it is not appreciated in no way. So if you are going to do this and are you going to say that this is what you do, we ask and implore you to please be a person of your word and do exactly that. I also would like to bring up the fact that it was the week before last Monday that I, I had stated in my weekly address that anyone who do not have the legal paperwork, we will not be doing any kind of transactions or business with you anymore. I did give certain projects, uh, like the key series, I gave five to six months. Uh, it would be uh, five months at this point to have all of the paperwork in line, the legal paperwork, and everything done. If it is anyone, any project or program that pre mother has sponsored, worked with or worked for, if you do not have your legal paperwork by that time, I will no longer do business with you. 
uh, we have already stopped all transactions. Um, so I am not just talking about one particular program because I get a lot, uh, I get a whole lot uh, just in the last uh, two or three days. I received 200 emails uh, of people that want me to sponsorship them, uh, one certain program for them. And I will say this, if you don't have your legal paperwork, I am not going to do it because I am instructed not to do it. And if there is no proof or evidence that that money will be sent to the children or the peoples of Africa the way you said it would be, I am not going to do it. Who, if you are stationed in the U.S. survey and you are working with uh, directives that is in Africana, then what you have to do, I have to meet them. Uh, I can do the interview on Skype. And I would have to also have them do an application with a copy of their picture ID. And then we would uh, take it and have the necessary uh, notaries done to it. And then that person would be completely checked out. And then we will begin to send funds and transactions to a particular village or area. This is the uh, way that we conduct things from now on. Uh, this is a new system that we came up with. But we came up with this system because, I want to say this, because it is our goal to help the children and men and women of Africa. We don't just have a page on Facebook. Uh, we just don't have a website. Uh, we just don't have an internet presence. Um, some businesses, organization, uh, beyond having a good looking website, there is nothing else to it. But that is not us. We are a real organization and we really send money and our support to Africa the way that we say that we are. We have sent over seven million dollars in aid uh, to Africa and we know how to do it. So whenever we run across organizations where we do not see the same, when we only see a pretty website but nothing is getting done, then we are very leery of it and we, we rather not get involved. And I want to say this, I don't care if you have your own uh, website, if you are on Facebook, Twitter, no matter what site you are on, you need to be a real organization. And if you say that you have the peoples of Africana, then that is exactly what you need to do. Because these peoples are suffering. These peoples are going through things that most peoples would never even understand in a lifetime. So the last thing they need is another greedy leader or another greedy program or project that comes up, but it don't benefit the peoples at all. So I want each person with uh, love in your heart, because I'm going to say this, I love Africa. I love Africa with all my heart. And anyone who knows me know that I do. Anyone who knows me know that that is my love. Africa is my mother. And to turn my back on it is the same as turning my back on my own self or on my own mother. So I ask and employ each of you to please. Please think of those children that are suffering. We want to be more than a pretty website. We want to be more than a pretty Facebook page or Twitter page. But we want to be legit. So therefore we employ all of you to have the same desire to help these children and these men and these boys and girls and these women. We ask you to have that same motivation and that same drive. Also, as many as you know, I am the Vice President of the Women Are Core, and uh, we have so many wonderful programs that we are working on. But I ask each of you to please understand that I am going to be just a little busy lately. I have been working 10, 11, or 12 hours a day. Uh, on some of the projects that we are working on. Therefore, I don't have the time uh, to attend to some of the things that I would love to attend to. 
but yet Queen Mother loved each of you. I I love those that love Africa. And for those who have Africa's best interests at heart, I will not turn my back on you. And I do appreciate all those kind support that each of you have given to me. It doesn't matter if that support comes through a phone call, if it comes through a text message, if it comes through the email, or if it just comes through the regular mail or through Skype. I appreciate all of your support. I am going to need it in the months to come because we have so much that is on our table. But we are ready for the challenge. I My hair is turning gray. You know, my hair is almost completely gray in the front of it, but I don't mind. I don't mind because this is my job and I took it head on. But you guys have been wonderful in supporting me. So I ask each of you to get sincere, get involved. The motherland needs you. We need your work, your dedication, and your sincerity. Thank you so much. Salam.